Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is Master Prophet Ebert R. Jordan, your most trusted name in prophecy. I want to thank you all, all for coming in on today. Let us open up into a time of prayer. Father God, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for the move of your spirit. We thank you for signs, Lord, that you have given unto us. And we thank you for the moments to be able to translate, interpret, and become a part of what God is doing in this hour. Now, Lord, begin to move by your spirit. And I ask, Father, that the spirit of clarity and wisdom will begin to come forth in this setting and in this teaching on today. Let there be prophetic direction, prophetic instruction, so people will know how to move accordingly to the grace that has been extended to us in this time. And we thank you, Lord, for this season, and we thank you for the wisdom that will begin to bear record to this charge. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Well, God bless you, Prophet Janice. How are you doing today? I am doing well today, uh, Master Prophet, Dr. Jordan. How are you today? Great and great. And um, I am so excited. I thought I would be able um, to move around and get around this season of um, from talking about this. But as my house began to shake today, I said, I hear you, Lord, because on last night, um, the Lord started giving me uh, that I need you to begin to look at what's about to take place on April the 8th. And I said, okay, yes, I know the path is coming up from Mexico and is coming through the United States and coming all the way up into um, Canada. I said, nah, I got that. And he says, yeah, but I, I, I want you to communicate to the people. And by the time I looked at it, it was 10 o'clock at night, and I said, this is too late to send out a blast. And then I said, well, maybe I'll do it at 8 o'clock this morning. And, um, but then when I did it at 8 o'clock, I started meditating, and the Lord started during that time, believe it or not, I was prophesying, and I was prophesying to um, some of the saints, and the Lord says, you've got to tell the people what is coming in their path in this season. And I said, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, going, I'm, I'm going to get um, to that. And the next thing I know, we're working out. Now, I was in the basement, so I didn't really feel the shake. But above us, the chef did, and those that was upstairs began to um, feel the place shake here in New Jersey. And, of course, you know, our phones started ringing and stuff, and people were asking, are you okay? What's uh, going on? I said, um, what was going on? He said, there's an earthquake. I said, oh, really? I said, well, we're fine. Said, we, we haven't felt anything because in the lower level of the home, we didn't feel the shake down here. But above ground at the main level, they, um, they felt it. And so I got there. I, mean, I said, we'll do it at 123 today because the Lord gave me Psalms 123. And um, Prophet Janice, can you get Psalms 123 for me? And we're going to um, look at that and um, begin reading Psalms 123. Unto thee lift up mine eyes. Unto thee I, unto thee lift I up mine eyes, O thou that dwellest in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of servants look unto the hand of their masters, and as the eyes of a maiden unto the hand of her mistress, so our eyes wait upon the Lord our God until that he have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy upon us, for we are exceedingly filled with contempt. 
Our soul is exceedingly filled with the scorning of those that are at ease and with the contempt of the proud. Okay, thank you, thank you. And um, so I remember that there were two places in the Bible that the Bible do mention solar eclipse, prophets, Janice. I want to go to that. And then I'm going to show you how some of you will dance with this, but uh, on today, I'm going to ask that you do the 123-23C or the 123C on today. And I will um, do a personal prophecy for you because um, there's some things I'll be able to say that's general, but then there's other things that's got to be specific. And I'm going to show you what's happening in your path, especially those that are in the East Coast and in Central Time and Eastern Standard Time zones, because that seems to be the path that this, um, this is traveling up through certain cities and through certain areas. And I'll tell you a little bit about... Um, how some things are taking place. I had to do a whole course on solar eclipse um, in the class, did well in the class, although I didn't understand all of the technology. But this is one thing I did know, is that solar eclipses are some of the most important things in time, especially in ancient time, and um, you'll begin to see why. So I want you to do the $123 C. We're going to give it and read the scripture, but I know some of you may be at work. Some of you may have to log off. So tell them, Prophet Janice, the ways that they can give, and then we're going to, right after that, go into some areas about the solar eclipse, what's about to happen, how long it will affect us because it does has a length of time and it does have an expiration. Got some noise on the line from somewhere. I'm not sure who that's from. Um, so, um, Professor Janice, if you could tell the people the ways that they can get. Yes, and people of God, you can get your seat in the ground. You can uh, the, you can call the moderator, number one, they can assist you, and the number to call is 888-831-0434. That's 888-831-0434. Or you can use the fastest way, which is the text to give option. All you have to do is text the word, my worship, all one word, M-Y-W-O-R-S-H-I-P. All one word, no spaces, to eight. 8- Three three four five zero four two four five. That's eight three three four five zero four two four five. Or you can go over to the website bishopjordan.com, bishopjordan.com, or zoe ministries.com, and just click on donate, and you can process your seed right there on our secure website. Or the ministry does have a cash app, and the address for the ministry is dollar sign my Zoe Church. That's dollar sign M Y Z O E C H U R C H. Those are the ways that you can get your seed in the ground. The one twenty three twenty three Master Prophet. All right. Okay. Let's begin to look at the scripture where this is found in the scripture. So let's go to Amos chapter 8 and verse number 9 and read that. And do I have um, another reader that is available? Prophet Kelly is available. Okay, thank you, Prophet Kelly. Um, You get for me Matthew 27 and verse 45. Okay, Prophet Janice, you can begin reading Amos. Okay, Amos chapter 8, verse number 9. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, 
and I will darken the earth in the clear day. Okay. So some scholars would look at this and would say this is because how could the sun go down at noon unless there is an eclipse that has taken place? And it does not mean necessarily that it was exactly at 12 noon because, you know, in different time zones, it means different things. And I'm not even sure they told time like that. But it's just saying it's pretty much when the sun is up, that you know that the sun is at its highest point in the noonday, you're going to have darkness that is going to take place. And so that is something that on that day, declared the Lord, I will make the sun to go down. So there's nothing that is happening by accident. It's things that God is declaring. I will make the sun to go down in the broad daylight. Now, let's go to Matthew 27, verse 45. Would you read that, Prophet Kelly? Reading out of the King James Version, now from the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the land unto the ninth hour. Great. And this is explaining that darkness is covering the land during the time of the crucifixion, that this here is beginning to take place. Darkness is covering the land, which we begin to see that as a very supernatural event while this is happening at Calvary. So when we begin to look at um, solar eclipse, and it signifies several things. Number one, they held very significant things in the ancient world, but not only in the ancient world, but in today's world. And I think one of the things, um, when I was watching one of the other solar eclipses that came forth, I use, I use always study, I have a program that studies the paths of usually where they start and stop and all that. And again, this kind of stuff, work takes some time. And when I saw it, I told somebody, I was, I was in Florida, I told some people, I says, oh my goodness, I says, um, um, they're going to have in the Far East either an earthquake or something that's going to rattle that part of the world. And they said, um, um, and they said to me, then, Bishop, why would you say that? I said, because the path of this next solar eclipse is coming. And this was several years ago, and it happened. And, of course, um, there was an um, earthquake in that region of the world, which became um, very, 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 very significant. Um, so these began to happen. It also could represent, um, let me not jump ahead of the gun. Let me just try to do this point by point and build up to this. Um, when a solar eclipse takes place, it's also awe-inspiring. So it, like, puts the people on earth in awe because now you're seeing a sun that is supposed to get bright become dark all of a sudden. In the ancient world, they didn't have news people that would warn you. The only ones that would be able to see this coming would be the astrologers that would do a lot of mathematic type of techniques and different things, or the prophets are foretelling. And while the prophets are foretelling the word of the Lord, they're also foretelling of events that are about to take place. I think that this here is so significant because it is covering all of your media channels. And all of a sudden, because there are solar eclipses that happen every year. There's about two solar eclipses that takes place every year. So this is not um, a moment that it's not. But when it happens over your area and over your region, 
you've got to take note of it. And especially if you can see it from where you're at, the people that can see it are affected by it. So we're already starting to feel the effects of it. People going out to get glasses, things are beginning to take place. And if we had a strong company of prophets um, that was steeped in astrological science, I would say, let's go back to the last hundred years, look at every solar eclipse, what area it went through, and let's pull news coverage for six months prior to six months after the eclipse, and let's look at the effects of that region. In each one, you'll be able to mark it, you'll be able to see it coming, and you'll be able to know what's happening. I believe the last one that came in around about 2017 or so that was coming across the United States from the West Coast to the East Coast, I believe all of a sudden that when all of a sudden there was wildfires that was happening in um, California, and all of a sudden real estate was just getting burnt up. And, you know, it was just great, you know, there's going to be some type of state of emergency, and it was sweeping all the way down into um, pointing down towards South Carolina. And I remember that path coming clean across the United States. But it also may have been pointing to that the United States would become a divided state. And so... Um, sometimes you'll not know what the sign is until after the sign has come, although the sign is announcing it, because the way that path of that eclipse, it like split the United States of America. Okay. Um, there also, from my research, I remember reading this, um, they were considered during ancient times as um, omens, they were also considered to be divine signs. So it is the heavens are again, according to Psalms 19, it is declaring the glory of God. Because even in this, God is going to get glory. And we also see that celestial events was often viewed as religious and cultural significance. So that means that something was happening in the culture at that time, something significant in religion, in the way people was worshiping during that time. We also see eclipse with their dramatic darkening of the sky would have been noticed during that day. Today we have a lot of... of um, Light, so we don't really notice the sky as the ancient world would notice the sky and say something has changed in our sky or in our universe, especially in our region. It's a sign of something that is coming. It's an omen of something that is about to affect us. And then the interpretation Will, would vary based on the different cultures and the belief systems. Now, we all know the Christmas story that the wise men saw his star in the where? In the east. In the east. In the east. And it revealed what? Where he lay. Where he lay. Now, what I'm going to give you is going to be something that when you do the 123 stage, you're going to get a recording from me. You're going to look for me. Look for it. I'm going to, right after this call, I'll be doing a bunch of recordings. Okay, so you'll be getting a recording from me, but I will have your recording by God's grace um, within 24 hours, and um, you can count on me for that so that you'll know how to begin to prepare yourself and to pray um, in this regard. But I want to say this to you, that usually when a solar eclipse 
comes, there's a number of things that you'll begin to take note. Now, this one is a total eclipse, which um, – um, and I think that's why it is so – because this means that the, the entire sun will be blocked out for a period of time. And a solar eclipse happens when the moon passes between the earth and the sun, blocking parts of all the sun's light from reaching the earth. And we also and we also begin to see something in this as well, that a solar eclipse occurs only during a new moon phase. So as you would note, a new moon was considered a high a holy day in ancient time. In ancient Israel, that was considered a Sabbath. So during this new moon that is coming, and the new moon is happening in what? Aries, in the sign of Aries on April the 8th. So here we're looking at the new moon in Aries. Now, Prophet Denise or Prophet Kelly, one of you, had, now we just celebrated Easter, is that correct? Correct. We celebrated Easter. But tell me, um, has the Orthodox Church celebrated Easter yet for this year? They have not. And you, they have not. And when will Easter be celebrated according to the Orthodox Church? On May 5th. On when? I'm looking at May 5th. Of 2024? That's what I'm seeing here on this one, May 5th, 2024. Okay. So... Okay, do you see that as well, Prophet Kelly? I oh, I am still checking. It is still analyzing for me. <laughs> okay, so... Yes, it is May 5th, correct. I can corroborate. Right, right. So, it's interesting that East has been served by a number of Christians on March 31st, right? Yes. But there's a reason as to why it may have been celebrated during that time. And we're not saying that, you know, we celebrated on the wrong day. I'm just going to bring this to you is that Easter somehow was very early this year, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Right? And it's usually the first, after the first full moon, okay, after the first full moon, that some sense that follows the spring equinox while others will look at it as the first full moon, the Sunday after the first full moon happens in Aries. So Aries, this new moon in Aries, has showed up late this year because the new moon in Aries is showing up now, you know, um, on the 8th. And it's kind of interesting because it's showing up as an eclipse. 
okay? So this is why Easter is a floating holiday, because it is timed according to astrology, to the stars that are in the heaven. And so I want to just say that what we're sharing here is biblical as well as science. And we don't want you to think that this is demonic. There's a lot of people that preach against uh, astrology. We do not follow the stars no more than we follow our Apple watches, okay, or the watch that is on your wall. No one's worshiping the watch or the timepiece that's on their arm, right? But we also know that there's a time and a season for everything under the heaven. And you could either this disaster and end up in a disaster, or you can move in alignment and find yourself walking in favor of it. So with this eclipse in April of 2024 that will take place on Monday, it will be a total, total um, solar eclipse. And the path of the totality of this will stretch across North America, even including parts of Mexico, United States, and Canada, which means that we're going to have some intensified border troubles and border situations, okay? Because the way this path is taking place, we'll see, we'll see this. Now, when the eclipse comes into play, it comes into play um, and you will start to feel it up to six months ahead of the eclipse. So a lot of this you're seeing it already play out. And it will play out up to six months after. So from now until October, we'll begin to see some things intensify about borders, 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 and maybe even some situations that will begin to go on about trade with other borders that will be sure to begin to show up as well. Um, this eclipse also will begin um, And major cities are in the path of this eclipse. Now, um, I began looking at some of the major cities that is in the path of this, and we're looking at Dallas, Indianapolis, Cleveland, Ohio, Buffalo, and Montreal. So here we have the earth shaking, right? We're in this cycle of an eclipse. And for some reason, they're feeling this in parts of Ohio. Is that correct, the earthquake? That is what's so important. What'd you say? That's what was reported. Yes. So here we're beginning to see this path. And there'll be tremors and aftershocks and all of these other wonderful things that go along with earthquakes. But it is definitely letting us know there is going to be something that is going to be shocking along this path um, that is coming up from out of Dallas, Indianapolis, Cleveland, all the way into northern New York, Buffalo, going into Montreal. So this here, so there's going to be some things rubbing in the wrong, um, that's going to cause some things, that's going to cause some seismic shifts that's getting ready to take place. Um, I want to even say that it may be also revealing 
the weakness in our infrastructures, uh, whether it is the boat that ran into the bridge that has um, taken place down in Maryland. And you may say, um, well, what does that have to do anything? This is going to affect the way, believe it or not, now I, I, I have no data on this, but it's going to affect the way that things are going to be traded. There's something more to uh, the movement of transport that is going to be taking place. Things with our bridges, infrastructures, roadways, all of these things are going to be pointing towards our transportation system. And so it's happening with this new moon in Aries. Aries have a lot of energy connected with it. Um, not only that, but it means now there's going to be a great change and shift in areas of innovation. Um, I would not be surprised if there is not the release of new technologies that begin to cause the workforce to shift. That's going to cause earthquakes in terms of um, industries, earthquakes in terms of media, earthquakes. So everywhere you're going to be looking in America is going to be earthquake. The earth is already quaking in the area of hip hop. The earth is already quaking in terms of the president of the United States, you know, being indicted or brought up on charges, doing mug shots. The earth is quaking. It's almost like uh, these um, mighty kingdoms that look like unstoppable is all of a sudden quaking. Um, and then you have a president, a man running for president with a mugshot and leading in the polls in one of the most conservative parties of the United States of America and takes the front running position. The earth is quaking, right? And it could be showing that there's going to be a real upset in Ohio in this whole election process, and it may be Ohio that becomes the deciding vote for the next president of the United States, Dallas, Indianapolis, Ohio, moving all up along that line. And it, it come, and it's going right to the top of Buffalo, which is the most northern most part of the state of New York, right? Don't sleep on Buffalo. Now, the last time Buffalo showed up in the media is when what happened? The sh supermarket shooting? The supermarket shooting. And, um, oh, Jesus. And can, you, can someone pull up for me what year that took place in? And I'm going to tell you why I'm about to say what I'm about to say. Master Prophet, that was in uh, 2022. 2022, the supermarket shooting. And um, here we have this solar eclipse taking place while Mercury is what? In retrograde. Which means that we're beginning to possibly look at Something that has happened could be ending up repeating again, and light is coming on this. So intensity, 
of race situations, um, the rise of, of um, nationalist groups that's coming out of, I don't even want to deal with what's in the state of Ohio because when I went and did the written judgment, volume one, Ohio was missing out of the written judgments, volume one. And I don't even know how that got an oversight until people was going through the book and says, we need to hear the word of the Lord for Ohio. But when my eyes opened up in Ohio, um, no shade on Ohio, but when my eyes opened up in Ohio, I saw things that was more troubling than in Mississippi and in deep parts of the South. So this path coming up through Texas, Indianapolis, Ohio, it is moving aggressively through red states. So the earth is quaking. And don't fool yourself. If it wasn't for New York City, New York would be a red state. And if you don't believe it, those of you New Yorkers, you drive upstate New York on any given Sunday and look to see what signs will be on the lawns. Okay. I'm going to leave that. Um, so the duration of a of – a, um, I'm not going to get into all the techniques, tech, but they were actually measured the duration of the eclipse. And the duration of the eclipse, we usually predict – some people use predictive techniques that will begin to tell you in how many months – an event will occur. I am not skilled in it that way. If I get anything, I'll give, <laughs> give it as the word of the Lord. But there's all type of te techniques for that um, area. Um, I want to say this. If you're going to be looking at the eclipse, um, please use the proper eyewears. Do not look directly into the sun during that time. Um, and that is about it. Now, what I want to say here to those of you that are listening to the sound of my voice, um, each one of you will dance differently during this time. Because when a solar eclipse happens, it, it represents a major change of the guards. So here's the question. Why do solar eclipses take place and what are the spiritual significance? And in that, you begin to see it symbolizes at the same time light and darkness. Do y'all see that? You have the light that is there and then all of a sudden the sun becomes dark at noon, right? Which means that it is, could represent a struggle between good and evil, struggle between light and darkness, okay? Or we could also look at it as it is being the rebirth of enlightenment, which means that where ignorance is now coming in, now we are getting ready to see the light is now coming. So we are getting ready to be lit in a capacity in areas of technology um, at the speed of light that's going to be coming in. We are going to be able to witness the warnings that are impending whether it's um, disasters or significant events, while others saw them 
as times of just auspicious signs and renewals and transformation, you as prophets are going to be looking for the renewal and the transformation. We're not going to look for the darkness and the devastation. That's not what our eyes are going to be focusing. We're going to be focusing on what is the renewal that is taking place. Um, is America going to be in a time of rebuilding its infrastructure? And what infrastructure has got to be built? What is it that is broken down that needs to be um, shored up? And so, therefore, um, this happening in Aries, Aries is a sign of innovation, um, a sign of action. Um, it is also ruled by Mars, which means that there could end up being a lot of action around things that's going to be initiated and also a lot of action around weapons and weaponry. And so these would be some of the things that you would want to say, how do I now put on the armor of God, the armor of God? And how do I stand in the face of the wiles of the evil one? And so if you are Aries, you really want to take note in this hour that um, you are going to be in a serious moment of renewal, which means that um, I don't know if we have anybody on the line here that is one of the prophets that is Aries right now. But, uh, Prophet Antoinette Harris. Okay, so Prophet Antoinette Harris, uh, you're going to find that in the solar eclipse, you're going to go through a, um, a major, 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 major um, self-identity change. And you're going to probably find that you have already started reinventing yourself and you don't even know why. And sure. did, you already, did you already start looking at um, some new areas that you were going to get into either in business or practices right now? Master Prophet, I was just talking to a few prophets. I felt like I was spinning like a spinning top. I am launching things. I am getting ideas and I'm not sleeping at night. I, the ideas are coming faster. And I just said to one of the prophets just recently last night, I said, I can't even keep up with my own thoughts. And I, and I, right. just, I, I, I just didn't know. So, yeah. Yeah. So with this solar eclipse happening, this is what is coming to bring to your path. And in the path that is given to you, you need to get what is the warning is, what is the benefit is. Because you can have something coming to you and don't know how to dance with it. Because some energies that you might be warring against, as God is saying in grace, because it's different, it's not an enemy. And so there's going to be the reinvention of yourself, not only the reinvention of yourself, but you're going to find that by October, you're going to be in a whole new network, and it would be one of those situations where you would say, um, I, I didn't plan for this, although I planned for it, but this is not where I thought I would end up. This is where that eclipse comes in, that it was light now, all of a sudden something is interrupted, and the light has become darkness, and now the sun is reborn in the noonday. It's reborn in its own daylight, and now you're starting to be in a new era. And the effect starts before the 
eclipse actually happened, this becomes almost like the crowning moment for some things to begin to move forward. And now is going to be the hour to start to set your plans and move your plans into place. So um, um, you do the 123 seed, and there will be more information that will be given to you on that, and you'll know how to whew, dance with that energy and plan for a successful eclipse. Okay? Thank you. You're great. You're welcome. So everyone, no one is exempt from the dance. Now, you can choose to be a wallflower and not dance. And to choose that is your own catastrophe, and it is your own disaster, because that means you are not willing to participate in the next season that God has ordained for your participation. So on today, I want to send you the um, the recorded word, and I'm going to be going back to prophesying and prophesying all morning, the recorded word concerning your life. Um, it will have some things there that's going to be general, but then it's going to come back and it's going to have something there that is for you specific. And then um, there will be another prophet that will be calling you that will not know what is even on your recorded word that will give you a word in this season that you will need to listen to carefully. Now, this is what happened in an eclipse. There will be some things that will show up like it is general. And then all of a sudden, that general will slap you in the face. And you will say, oh, my goodness. I should have known. The prophet was telling me this, but I didn't think that this was really for me. Like a person came to me and they said to me, and they may be listening on the call today, and um, I said, how was your prophetic word? They said, oh, Bishop, it, it was general. I said, Okay. I said, why you said it was general? Well, they told me I was going to get a new car, and I'm like, okay, thank you. And I repeated, you know, and that's the power of prophecy, but um, I don't need a new car. I, got, uh, I already have a um, – I just got a new car not too long ago. And then they went about their life and got into a car accident and totaled their car. Told their brand new car. And they called back and said, I need to really repent. I said, what happened? They says, I got to get a new car. I said, not you. What happened? They said, my car got totaled. I said, oh, my goodness. I said, I, really, I said, what you may think is general or that don't apply to me. Listen, 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 and do not sleep. Someone else got a word. Um, I believe it was a. Uh, uh, it was um. Um. Elder Bratton, and he called me. Said he got a word from one of the prophets, and it was like. You know, the Lord says you're going to be doing some um, teaching and it's going to be a large group of stuff that's not where you're at. It's going to be somewhere else. 
la di la di da da and they said, uh, and he got he got walked away and says, okay, that's you know, everybody know I'm a teacher. Now he's commuting back and forth to South Carolina because he's teaching, and they gave him a whole department there at Benedict College. And he comes back, he says, these prophets are on fire. So listen to, so what I'm going to say to you is, especially during this season, because it is a high spiritual season, the windows are open, everybody for whatever reason, and that's why I chose that Psalms 123, everybody's eyes are lifted up. On Monday, people will look to the heavens more than they've ever looked before. Now, whether, whether God uses that phenomenon to communicate his glory or whatever, their eyes will be lifted up to the hills from what's come at their help. And they're going to know on some level, whether it's conscious or unconscious, that their help cometh from the Lord that made what? Heaven and earth. Heaven and earth. Heaven and earth. And that is what's going to take place this weekend. So I want to declare to you the prophets are going to be attuned. Some of you have not sown in a while. Don't miss this window of sowing the 123 seed. And I want you to, uh, you can um, do it right now on the line. And you can text to give and text the word, my worship, all one word. Text the word, my worship, no space in my worship. And you can do that at 646-762-0433. That is 646 Seven six two zero four three three. Let me give you that number again so you can write it down. You will text six four six seven six two zero four three three and follow the prompts and type in my worship. And I'm asking everyone to go ahead and do the 123.23c. Or you can go to the website at zoeministries.com or you can go to bishopjordan.com. And I want you to go ahead and start going to get your seed into the ground right here and right now. Make sure it is a $123.23 seed and fill out all the information. Make sure you give your phone number. Make sure you give your phone number or we cannot call you. We cannot call you if you do not give your phone number. And thank you, Prophet Tarina McNeil. I see you got your 100, and then you put your 2323 with it and got $123.23. Let's see then. Thank you, Angelina Cortez. I see your 123.23 seed here. Amen. And I'm waiting on the others of you to get your seed into the ground. Now, speaking of the solar eclipse, June 6th, I will be moving to the presiding bishop of Zoe Ministries Fellowship of Churches. Zoe Ministries Fellowship of Churches are coming together. Pastors that are in poem has an open invitation to come on board and join us. Now, if you are 
have been following, following us for any length of time. Um, and you know that you're called here. Then I would say, follow me, and I will make you. It is not a fellowship where we're going to be fellowshipping around doctrine, okay? We're not going to be sitting here questioning how you baptize, um, whether you dunk or sprinkle. I don't give a care. It is not a church that is going to be a church of policing doctrine as much as it is a church that's going to educate practice. So we're going to look at your praxis. What does that mean? Are you practicing as a church of the future? The model that you're worshiping now, are you, model, are you worshiping in a model that is extinct? Or are you worshiping as a model that is leading from the future? Most denominations, they gather around doctrine. Most churches have split because of doc, some doctrinal issues. Others gather around because they want to be a mega church, and that's good. We're going to have a fellowship of churches that I want to empower you into innovation as to how to lead the next generation. And the way we're going to lead the next generation is that our wisdom has got to be transmitted into platforms that the next generation is in, and we're going to have to use what is in our hands. When Moses came to God and he wanted to deliver the children of Israel, God had Moses to look where? In his hands. Our people have never looked to their hands. They've always looked to the government hands or looked for a handout. Moses did not look to Egypt for its deliverance. He had a staff in his hand, and that staff turned into all kinds of things in order to deliver his people. I want you to begin to look at the mobile device that is in your hands, and I must ask you, have you allowed God to anoint what is in your hands? The Zoe Fellowship of Churches is getting ready to raise up a prophetic army of pastors. We want to provide prophetic insight, prophetic covering. There will be bishops that will be made here, but not bishops uh, as in the old order of the church. There will be people that will be made apostles. Some of you will go in to be made bishops or apostles or leaders into business industries. Hear what I am saying. And you'll have your foot in the ecclesiastical and in the business model. And you will begin to start, we will start to revisit the seven mountains. We want to visit the world of education. Are you called to education? We want to visit the model of media. God knows media needs a move of God and entertainment. We want to look at the areas of religion. Is religion the area you're called to? Or how about finance, business, technology, um, growing money, banking? Is that the mountain that God has given you to take? And so we're going to look at these different areas, these different quadrums, and begin to challenge you. I've already have works that are written in this stuff that has not been released. And um, some of this has been and is documented, so you can see the sources of where we pulled them from. But we are now, I thought I would get out of this life Oh, not having to become a presider, but this is what is the call of God. 
when I began to look at my chart and the solar eclipse pointed this to me at this season. So the heaven, and I just looked at it within the last 48 hours, and the things that I saw, I had to begin to say, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. It was already en route. I was already moving in it by the Spirit, but now it's accelerated, and it couldn't have happened in a better season than now. If I had the time, I would throw my chart up here and show you how where we are moving is in alignment with the purpose of God. But maybe we'll do that in a master class with the prophets. So we have pastors that are going to be assembling with us. Um, um, and I'll, I'll just leave it like that. So we're networking with different leaders and pastors, and it's pastors and leaders that are not, um, I need to say it this way, that are not um, looking for policy because they trust the Spirit of God within them. And what do I mean not looking for policy? So they're going to be at this table helping to shape the policy as the community. It's almost like the finding of the 12. And so if you are um, going to be joining in that, please contact Prophet Janice Das or text me on my cell phone and say, Master Prophet, um, count me in. Our church wants to be a fellowship of church. I'm a senior pastor of his work, and then we're going to be getting back with you. All right. So we want you to go ahead and get your seeds on into the ground, and you know the various ways to get your seeds in the ground. So if you get a text to give, one word, my worship, text 646-762-0433, and text the word, my worship, all one word. And for those of you that are paid in full, I want to commend you. Get, get, your room should be set aside, but you've got to call in the register. What do they need to do for that, Prophet Janice? Yes, Master Prophet. All they have to do is um, have their uh, blessing plan number 16 paid in full. Your name automatically goes on the list on, um, on Zoe Ministries' side, and then the, um, we will make sure that your room is secure at the hotel. So at this point, all you have to do is get paid in full, and your name automatically goes on the list. You can call the moderator and inquire if you want to know where you are in it, and go ahead and do that today and complete it today. Just call the moderators and ask them, what, where am I in my blessing plan 16 so I can pay in full? The number to call is 888-831-0434. That's 888-831-0434, and um, they will give you that where you are in your blessing plan and your seeds that you're sowing even right now are going toward that master profit. All right. And, um, and I'm telling you, this is going to be a, um, a moment to behold. You want to witness the ascension. You want to witness the ascension. Amen. Okay. Um, I'm going to get ready to wrap it up, and I want to go ahead and call up those that have done the Taruma seed. I want to thank those of you. And I believe this is around the anniversary of the Taruma. See, I think this, that revelation broke around the month of March. It, is that about right? Correct. Correct. Yeah, so this is the anniversary of the Taruma scene, and some of you have not stopped because you all have discovered it worked, giving the first of the first. And um, that's one of the things I want to do with churches and leaders, teach them how to rebuild the altar. Um, you cannot worship from a broken altar, and that altar must be an altar of giving. And um, as you can see, as we're talking about the altar now, there's people getting ready to start to exit because it's about the seed. You cannot honor, watch this, you cannot honor without money. Let me say that again. You cannot honor 
without money. Honor the Lord with your wealth. Honor the Lord with your substance. Where there is no substance, there is no honor. Okay, let's pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the word of the Lord. We thank you for these that are given the Teruma seed. Now, as the priest, Father, I command the blessing to rest upon their house, that everything they touch during this season be blessed. During this solar eclipse, it's a sacred moment. We pray that your kingdom and your will be done. Show forth your might and your strength. And we command the blessing of the Lord to bring about great increase. Multiply where multiplication can be seen. And bring increase where it is made visible. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. Um, Prophet Shanice, are there any that did the $1,000 seed that we need to acknowledge today, and then we can bring them live? And then I got to go and shoot this documentary for America's Black Prophet. Let us not forget today is Bishop Elect's birthday. Um, I probably should have asked him for his cash app. I need to get his cash app today. But today is Bishop Elect's birthday. And uh, so if you. Um, He's, he's away. He's in Florida right now with his family. But um, send something to him. He's 37 years old today. So he's um, 37. So send him a $37 seed. That's um, Bishop Elect, who will be consecrated into the bishopric on um, next year. So next year we'll be making um, uh, bishops and apostles. And um, that would be part of the Zoe Reformation Fellowship of Churches. And we want you to um, start to get ready because we're getting ready to set up for a new order and a new frontier uh, moving forward. And um, probably Prophet Janice, um, on the day of the solar eclipse, um, I'm probably going to meet with the pastors on that day. But I'll give you the time, okay? And we'll um, see if we can have a meeting by way of Zoom. You noted, Pastor Prophet. Okay. Okay. And this is for the pastors that would like to come in and be a part. And so if you're interested, please call the search and we'll move accordingly. Okay. Um, do we have those that did the one thousand dollars seed on today? Yes, Master Prophet. We have three who sown the one thousand dollars seed uh, so far today. Okay. Uh, we have, and um, go ahead. We have Charles Scott who sold one thousand dollars. We have Bishop Elect Joshua Jordan who sold the one thousand thirty seven dollars and thirty seven cents. And we have Prophetess Angelina Cortez who sold the one thousand dollar seed. All right. Okay, let's um, get ready to bring them live. Thank you. And then I'm going to ask um, to find out. Let's, um, let's tighten up the numbers of the company of prophets that's going to be here to prophesy to the people here while we're here live. And it's right now 3.10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, and um, so I know a number of have left. So let's just, the prophets who are um, here to prophesy, please state your name. Worthy class Good master, Gloria Jean Kelly. Thank you, prophet. Gloria Jean Kelly. Next prophet. Prophet Latoya Dawkins. Thank you, prophet Latoya Dawkins. Prophet is Diamond King. I'm here till 4 p.m. Thank you, prophet is Diamond King. Next prophet. Prophet Alexander Gray. Prophet Alexander Gray. He'll be Thank number you. four. Number prophet four. Maxine Wise. Thank you, Prophet Maxine Wise. You are number five. Prophet Sheila Levy. Thank you, Prophet Sheila Levy. You are number six. Prophet Michelle Berrien. 
Thank you, Prophetess Michelle Berrien. You are number seven. Next prophet. Prophet Antoinette Harris. Thank you, Prophet Antoinette Harris. You are number eight. Next prophet. And I will be, I'll put myself here as number nine. We have number one, Worthy Class Master Gloria Jean Kelly. Number two, Prophet Latoya Dawkins. Number three, Prophet Diamond King. Number four, Prophet Alexander Gray. Number five, Prophet Maxine Wise. Prophet, number six, Prophet Sheila Levy. Number seven, Prophet Nichelle Berrien. Number eight, Prophet Antoinette Harris. And number nine, Prophet Janice Goss. Any other prophet? Prophet Terry Stensett till 4 p.m. as well. Okay, thank you, Prophet Terry Stensett till 4 p.m. You're number 10. Any other prophet? Prophet, prophet Chef Nicole Leon. Um, I'm sorry, uh, say your name again. Prophet Nicole Young. Nicole Young. Oh, Prophet Nicole Young. Okay. Oh, good morning. Good afternoon, Prophet Nicole Young. <laughs> good okay. afternoon, Pastor. Got you, Prophet Nicole Young. You're number 11. Next, any other prophet? Prophet, prophet, prophet Norma Clark. Clark. Prophet Norma Clark. Yes. You're number 12. Next prophet. Prophet Olympia prophet. Castillo. Thank you, Prophet Olympia Castillo. You're number 13. Thank you. Next prophet. Prophet Spanish Dennis. Thank you, Prophet. It's Vanity Dennis. You're number 14. Next prophet. All right, this is our company of prophets, master prophet. All right. Okay, let's bring those um, live that are done the $1,000 seat or more. Okay. 404, you're live. Your name and your seat amount. Yes, this is Prophetess Angelina Cortez from Rex, Georgia. Angelina at pets to go dot pet. Right. God bless you, Prophet Angelina. Thank you for doing the seed. Okay, let's yeah. begin. What's the word of the Lord to Angelina Marie Cortez? Father, thank you for the word. And Prophet Angelina, I hear the Lord said, you're going to understand this season, the process that I've taken you through, and you're going to see that my way has always been the better way. Get ready, because you're getting ready to see things improve, and that's the word of the Lord. And I hear the word of the Lord. God is prospering you and expanding you in territory in this season, and you're meeting new individuals, and that is the word of the Lord. Well, this is a, I hear this. Yes, Papa Diamond King. I hear the spirit of the Lord saying that all is going to be well, even concerning different situations that's going on with the body and even on the home front. God said he's giving you favor with um, paperwork and documentation. So God said if there's anything that you need to get in or write about, God says he's going to cause favor to come upon it, and that's the word of the Lord. And this is the season, Lord says that I'm shifting things on your behalf. I'm bringing you to the right place at the right time to receive the harvest that is so due to you this season, says the Lord. And you're going to be doing a lot more traveling during this season, places that you have never thought you would be going to. That's where the Lord to you. Prophet Sheila Levy. And Lord, speak through me. Father said, out with the old, in with the new. Father said, this is the season where he's going to do a new thing for you. And that's the word of the Lord. Speak, Lord. Thank you. And I hear the word of the Lord saying justice. For God says, not only will you know justice on this journey, I hear Father God saying, get ready for travel. God says, prepare the passport for overseas. And that is the word of the Lord. Move in the travel. Move in the travel and understand that technology is going to catch up to you. You're going to find business moving in the speed of technology. That's the word of the Lord. And I further hear the Lord saying, um, I'm redeeming the time. God said that which looked like it was lost, I'm bringing it back to you, but you're going to find that increase is going to come very quickly, and that is the word of the Lord. Prophet Terry. 
I hear the word of the Lord that get ready for new insight and wisdom in this season. Uh, fresh and new clarity is your portion, and that is the word of the Lord. Prophet Nicole. Oh, young. Uh, I hear the word of the Lord. Father says it's time for you to write that book. Father says stop procrastinating, write the book. Just Start writing, and the words will come to you. He is with you, and that is the word of the Lord. Norma Clark, Prophet Norma Clark. I was on mute. Apologies. I hear the word of the Lord for you saying, God is moving you. He's changing your position. He is moving your seat into an uncommon place, but it is a place of power, and that's the word of the Lord. Prophet Olympia. And I further hear God saying this is your year of um, connections. God said you're going to have favor around negotiations and contracts, and that is the word of the Lord. Father, speak through me. I hear the word of the Lord saying um, publication. Your new book is going to be in, in big publications, and that's the word of the Lord. And the Lord said that as you are coming into a place you're going to begin to reconstruct a new narrative. You're going to find that in this season, you're going to be focusing on your finances and you're going to be focusing on the self-worth of yourself and the self-worth of your business. And so avoid excessive spending and and avoid underestimating your value. God's going to bring you into the balance of those things. But as you move forward, you're going to find yourself starting new investments, new investments, and that's going to be the power of where transformation is going to show up in your life in new investments, and that is the word of the Lord. And that is most certainly the power of prophecy. Thank you, Master Prophet and Company of Prophets, and of course, uh, First Lady, um, Prophetess Jordan. All right. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Amen. And when we have another caller here, Master Prophet, 646, your line is open. State your name and your seat amount. Amen. God bless you. It's Prophet Joshua and Jessica Jordan, and we sold the $1,037.37 today. All right. God bless you. And I was trying to get, what is your cash app, Prophet Joshua, for you? Because today's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Did we lose you, Prophet Joshua? Or am I lost? Yeah, I was speaking. No, I'm here, Master Prophet. My, I'm muted out. My, Thank you, Master Prophet, so much. And family, my cash app is dollar sign Joshua Jordan 1030. So that's Joshua Jordan and the number 1030. Okay, Joshua Jordan 1030. Okay, Joshua Jordan, 1030. Dollar sign, Joshua Jordan, 1030. Okay. Okay, Company of Prophets, what's the word of the Lord to Prophet Joshua Jordan? He did the $1,037 seed to him and Prophet Jessica. Father, thank you for the word. And man and woman of God, I hear the Lord say to you, uh, Bishop-elect, God said this is going to be a season that I'm going to firmly plant your feet in halls of academia. God says your voice is going to ring among those of sages. Think not that you cannot. God says you are more than able to do what I've called you to do. Uh, Prophet Jessica, I hear the Lord said you're going to find you'll get extra hands to assist in this process, for I have not let you left you out. God says you'll walk together, and that's the word of the Lord. God, thank you for your word. And I hear the word of the Lord. God is prospering you both around investments in this season, and that is the word of the Lord. God, speak to me. I hear the spirit of the Lord saying that he's going to put you in places, Bishop-elect Prophet Joshua Jordan, that you have never even imagined. And God said those things that he showed you, he's going to do it. And you and your wife are going to write a book together, and this is going to be the best year that you ever walked in, and it's going to be an opening for 2025, and that's the word of the Lord. Happy birthday. This is a season where you're going to find your voice is going to be heard 
from the north, the east, the west, and the south, for many are calling for you. Even the real estate industry is looking for you, says the Lord. It's going to be favorable. Even as you go forth in ministry and you and your wife will be tag teaming more than ever before, the preacher says the Lord. And I further hear the word of the Lord saying that two of you are going to be like uh, spiritual parents or mothers to many uh, young people as you travel from place to place. They're going to embrace you as their spiritual uh, parents. That is the word of the Lord to you. And Father, speak through me. I hear the word of the Lord say, you will become the mentor in this season. Father said that this is going to be the season where you are going to find you having people follow you more and you pouring them this season. And that's the word of the Lord. Happy birthday, Bishop elect. And I further hear Father God saying, document, document, document. So Father God says, come forth, Professor. Jordan, for I hear Father God saying there's a new level that God is calling you to, and I just see you and leading lady prophet Jessica walking hand in hand, for God says you'll, you'll be walking overseas, not only ministering, but I just hear God saying the teaching anointing is going to the next level, and that is the word of the Lord. And I hear the word of the Lord saying you will lift up your voice like a trumpet. Don't be afraid of the microphone, even the podcast. That's the word of the Lord. And happy birthday again, Bishop Elect. I further hear the Lord saying this is a season of expansion for, for both of you. And you're going to begin to see the blessings of the Lord come in measurable, in immeasurable ways to the family. And the Lord said this is going to be a season of great peace as God begins to open up doors for you. And that's the word of the Lord. I further hear the word of the Lord that this is a season of mentorship around both of you. Uh, there's favor all around that. And as you gather a team around you, says the Lord, and favor around writing uh, as you begin to and continue to mentor others. And that is the word of the Lord. Happy birthday, man of God. And I hear the word of the Lord say to you, Father God says, pick up. He said, turn around three times, for this is your time. This is the time for you to be heard. And I concur with the prophets that this is the time for you to go forth and let your name be heard and let your voice be heard because they are waiting for you. They are waiting for you. And that's the word of the Lord. Happy birthday, Bishop Alex. I hear the word of the Lord to you and Minister Jessica that there will be many showers of blessings for the two of you. You will be blessing many others, but you will be the recipients of showers of blessings. And that is the word of the Lord. Private Olympia. Private Vanity. Father, speak through me. And I hear the word of the Lord saying, uh, the limelight is on you specifically. Can you hear me? Hi. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah we, we can, can hear, hear you now. saying, can you hear you? Uh, who's that? Thank you. It's Prophet Olympia Castillo. Okay, go ahead, Amen. Prophet Olympia. Thank you so much. And um, Father God, speak through me. I hear the word of the Lord saying, healing and strength to both of you. Um, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Father says, even in the night season, you're going to find a more restful sleep. So I said, also get ready for um, the spotlight. I'm, I'm looking at cameras before, flashing before you both. And that's the word of the Lord. Father, speak through me. And I hear the word of the Lord saying, the limelight is specifically on you too this year. Like never before, you thought it was something, but it's really on you for your story has to come out and people are going to hear your story. They're going to hear a lot of love, compassion, and joy and the truth you guys walk through. That's the word of the Lord. And this is going to be the season that you're going to be innovative, a self-starter, and you're going to find some things that's going to connect the dots to the next level of horizon. Not only for you, but Prophetess Jessica is going to find the strength to not only create, 
but to exercise creativity in a brand new way and in concepts and ideas. Let the creator come forth because in this creative moment is going to be stellar and some things are going to break forth that has been hidden is getting ready to shine brighter than it's ever shone. And that is the word of the Lord. Thank you, members of the Company of Prophets and the Master Prophet. We receive it, and that is the power of prophecy. All right. God bless you. What park are you in today? Yes, Master Prophet. I think we're going to go to Magic Kingdom today. Okay. Well, have a blessed birthday. God bless. Thank you again, family, and thank you, Master Prophet. Okay. Um, Prophet Janice, can you tell the people how to get their seat? Yes, people of God, you can get your seat in the ground. Just call the moderator. That's one way. The number to call is 888-831-0434. That's 888-831-0434. Or you can use the text to give option. Just text my worship, all one word no spaces, my worship, to the following number, 833-450-4245. That's 833-450-4245. Just text my worship. Or you can go over to the website bishopjordan.com or zoeministries.com and just click on Donate. You can process your seat right there on our secure website or you can go over to the Cash App because the ministry does have a Cash App. It's dollar sign my Zoe Church. That's dollar sign M Y Z O E Church. And when you do, if you decide to sew it by Cash App, go over to our website as well, ZoeMinistries.com. Click on the Members tab and click on to the uh, Cash App handle and register your Cash App handle so that you will receive your prophetic word um, as well from the Company of Prophets and your phone calls. Master Prophet. Amen, amen. All right. Thank you so very much. Um, we're going to get ready now. And um, is there any other that said the $1,000 fee before, we, before I go? Master Prophet, I see two people in the cash app. I mean the cash app, in the caller queue. Hold on. And uh, 336, please state your name and your seat amount. Three three six, okay. All right, maybe they haven't. Let me check the other number. Two one six. Your name and your seat amount. All right. Okay. They probably have okay. okay. I'm going to get. I'm going to get ready and go. And um, I got to go film for America's Black Prophet. Those of you that are. Uh, um, Thank you again. God bless you. I'll see you all at 7 o'clock this evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you.